This meal prep is for the bored vegetarians and vegans. It's for y'all and other people as well, but it's mainly for y'all. As someone who has tried and failed at meal prepping time and time again, honestly, I'm being dramatic. It was really, I only tried like two times and I didn't like it both times because I get bored with food. So that's why I wanted to switch it up and see if alternating between three different meals will make a difference. Two of those meals having the same base, which is the mushroom walnut meat, which sounds, it sounds weird. It really does. Like, it sounds kind of disgusting, but I saw it on TikTok. All of these I saw on TikTok. And I was looking at the comments of people saying they tried it and everybody was loving it. So I was like, there must be some truth to this. So I thought, why not? try with you guys. So, let's get started. So this is a breakdown of a few things I got. We'll be using these walnuts for our meat and this bread for our sandwich. Y'all, I'm so mad about this because those were so good and I found out they're incredibly bad for you. The poppy drinks have been getting me through my soda addiction and y'all, I, I gotta have at least one sweet thing. Like, one sweet thing a week. Like, you gotta treat yourself a little bit. I am a Celsius girl, but we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> Those will be the mushrooms we will be using. So I went ahead and started cleaning my vegetables that I'll be using for the sandwich. When I know I am going to be eating vegetables raw, I really make sure I prioritize cleaning them. And I don't know if this works, but look at that sizzle. I just can't deny that. So it makes me feel like they're actually clean. So. Y'all let me know in the comments if that actually works. I would love to know that it does, but this is just what I do to make myself feel good about it. So make sure you go ahead and toast your bread. I don't have a toaster, so I just threw it on the stove. And for the roasted peppers, if you can find the big halves, make sure you get those because it'll be a lot easier for you than the small pieces like these. Um, these are the vegetables that we'll be using. I was lazy when it came to actually cutting the vegetables because at this point, y'all, I was just trying to make it through this meal prep. So <laughs> I'm gonna just keep it real with y'all. So I went ahead and applied all the ingredients and I got also lazy with the avocado. Let me know, y'all, how do y'all cut up y'all avocados because they never look like how I want them to look. Go ahead and add your favorite seasonings to the sandwich as well. And then this is your final product. It looks amazing and it tastes amazing. I ate one as soon as I got done making this and I packed up the rest. So for your walnut meat, you need to make sure that you, you need to make sure you soak your walnuts overnight so we can get rid of that crunchy texture. And then you're gonna load everything into your food processor and slowly we're going to begin pulsing in the mushrooms, the onions, and the garlic. And then we're going to also add some sun-dried tomatoes. And y'all can't tell me that does not look like meat. Like, it's insane. Even the texture is similar. It, it was, we were already off to a good start. Go ahead and oil your pan and throw in your mixture. I didn't measure any of these seasonings, y'all. I didn't measure anything. Onion powder, smoked paprika, and add in your soy sauce and your taco mixture. So I split this batch into two. Since we're gonna be doing tacos and spaghetti, we're gonna be doing two completely different types of seasonings. So for this one, I'm focusing on Mexican seasonings and then I'm putting it in the oven for around 15 minutes at 400 degrees. And then for our jalapeno sauce, I'm going to throw in the jalapenos to fry them up and make sure you leave the stems on. And I really want a charred look for this. I honestly forgot the ingredients, the exact ingredients for this recipe, so I was kind of just freestyling it. 
Once you're done frying them, throw them all into the food processor. I went ahead and added half an avocado, some lime, and I added some cream cheese. And it looked amazing. I wasn't sure how I was gonna like it on the actual taco, but it turned out perfect. Once the mushroom meat was done, I went ahead and plated it up and also added the sauce. I was worried about how it would taste the next day, but it worked out perfectly. As you see, I really just threw that cilantro on there. I was getting very lazy towards the end of this. <laughs> For our next batch of meat, we're gonna be focusing on Italian seasonings. And then you can pretty much add whatever you want. Again, we're gonna make sure we add that soy sauce in. I'm not sure what the soy sauce is doing, but it's gotta be doing something. It's gotta be doing something. And then we're gonna put it right back in the oven. While that's cooking, we're gonna get our green bell peppers and onions together. And again, with the Italian seasonings, you can do this before or after you make the meat. It turned out a little bit burnt, but I could not tell once I combined everything together. It tasted really good. You can use any marinara sauce you want. This is the one that I used and look at the color. That color is so bright, oh my gosh. The smells, y'all, it smells so good, especially from the jalapeno sauce, oh my God. Oh my goodness, and then go ahead and put it. I don't know if you guys like your sauce mixed or your sauce on top, but I like my mix, so I went ahead and mixed it up. Let me know in the comments what type of way you like your spaghetti. And then boom. And then I packed up everything up. Thank you guys for making to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed these recipes. I was very happy with them, and I was very surprised about the walnut mushroom meat and I can't wait to make it for my family. As soon as I got done making that, I sent a picture to my mom and she was like, yeah, you gotta make that. So I'm super excited to make it for them. It actually tasted really good. I could not believe that it actually tasted like meat. Sometimes when it tastes too much like meat, I kind of get a little bit freaked out, but that was like the, it was like the perfect amount. The one con I will say about what I decided to make was the sandwich. It wasn't as watery as I thought it was, but I believe the oil and some of the oils from the peppers made it a little bit soggy, so I did not like it the next day that I ended up eating it. I made one for me to eat the day of when I made it, and it was, I really liked it. But if you like spice, you definitely should probably add like a spicy mayo or anything that will really just add some more flavor to it. I loved the spaghetti and I really loved the tacos. The tacos were my favorite. The sauce was fire. It was fire. Like I was not expecting it to be that good. Next time I'll probably do like some pico, I'll probably add a couple of jalapeno slices on <laughs> I'm gonna add a couple jalapeno slices on top and I feel like that will really just pull it all together. But other than that, this experience was definitely an eight out of 10. An eight out of 10, I will be doing it again and I feel like it'll get faster and faster over time. So if there are any specific vegetarian meals that you guys want me to check out, let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Like damn, move back. She a baddie cause she got the jack. She fly with a butterfly tack. Look at her friend and don't know how to act. Like damn, move back.